Fanta Berry. Ellie, you want a berry? Hmm? Got some berries. What's going on, guys? Welcome again to Hartman Adventures. Three again. Uh, today is a little bit different. We are at home today. So, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, the yeah, sun is a little bit bright. This is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. So if you've been following me for any time, you would have known that I love planting. I love my garden. I love um, planting fruits, vegetables, anything like that. I love growing my own stuff. So I'm in my garden now. It's a little bit under maintained because I haven't done any work on it in a while. Reason being the time was extremely dry. Um, earlier this year it was extremely dry but we got into the rainy season. I decided that I was going to set up my catchment system again. I'll show you that in a little bit and I'll show the, the video of when I was setting up the catchment system. And now the drums are full and as you can see I have one bed right here and I have another grow bed over that side that blue barrel that you see right there I had a yam planted in it and it's about time now for me to dig the yam because it's dried down now so so one of these days I'll make a video of me digging the yam and you guys will get to see that but for now what I want to do is I want to show you guys what I did to set up the water catchment system and then I'll make a series of videos pretty much just highlighting how I'll go about transforming the garden now to what it was like before. Uh, before I had a lot of peppers, I had some broccoli, I had cauliflower, I had cabbage, I had pop chai in here. So I had a lot of vegetables in here so it's time to plant again. The drums are filled with water now and it's pretty much the middle of the rainy season now so it's good time for planting so guys stay tuned let's go and watch how I set up the catchment system I'll probably put up a list of all that you would need to set up a system like mine let's go ahead and watch that and then we come back
have everything connected now so have the pipe top right there lock off valve splice so that means to say if I want to remove any one of the drums I can just pull the splice right here and right here pull the splice and remove them instead of cutting the pipe again the last time I set it up I didn't use the splice so what I had to do is I had to cut the pipe so if you notice I had to join it back right here because it was a little bit short so use a splice this time instead another lock of valve and this is just an end cap so what why I did this is if I feel like I want to add some more drums I just extend the platform see that's the platform right there I just extend the platform a bit more out and cut off this cap and extend it add another drum or more drums to it This is a piece of greenhouse net so the reason I use the greenhouse net is because the covers for the drums were crystallized and they broke but I don't want to keep the drums open because of mosquitoes and this greenhouse mesh is very thick it doesn't break down in the sun and also it screens out the mosquitoes out of there as you can see as well it also helps to filter the water so anything that is washed off the roof pretty much is caught on here leaves and all of that caught on here they don't go into the drum so helps to filter the water in the drum as well but this is the system that i set up like i said before i would put up a list of all that you would need to set up a system similar to this so at the base of the system yes ellie you ready you have some berries come let's see your berries yeah. you picked some berries yeah. nice I them all you pick them all yourself ants all right go and stand over there don't let the ants bite you Yeah, I just picked up Ellie from school, so she's outside chilling with me now. So here what I did was I set up a base for the drums to sit on. There's a base for the drums to sit on. And this base, I built it myself one night I was at home. So I set up the base and the base keeps all the drums level. So once they are level i don't need to do anything in terms of getting all three of them filled simultaneously so i had a couple of trees in the backyard one was right here had to get that one cut because the evening sun comes from that direction that direction that's evening sun and morning sun normally comes from this direction over here i have my aki tree right here and i also have a sweet sap tree there and this is a mulberry tree they are extremely sweet look at that have a lot of berries on it right now so over this side i also had a guinep tree 
this guinea tree right here it wasn't a fruitful guinea tree it's not a bearing guinea tree but it was very big so i had to get it cut because this direction is where we get morning sun and because of the two trees the garden was suffering from a lot of shade so we weren't getting enough sunlight on the garden and as you can see we have this other big tree here but that tree is over on the neighbor's side i can't cut that one that one is over on the neighbor's side but majority of it is hanging over on my side so i couldn't just go ahead and cut that one but what i did i cut the two trees in my yard that were causing the most shade so once i got those done as you can see look at the difference on the banana trees you can see the banana trees coming up a little bit better now i have some work to do around here to kind of clean them up a little bit mold them up and see if i can get them going a little bit better over here i have a little plant this is a pine plant so i have a pine plant right here i'm going to i might move the pine plant because i want to plant a, a coconut tree i planted a tree here for ellie when ellie was about one month old my dad and i planted a tree right here for ellie but the tree died not sure why but i have a coconut tree i want to plant right here so i'm going to move the pineapple and i'm going to plant the coconut tree right here because i told ellie that's where her tree will be planted so yeah and other than that i have the breadfruit tree here a lot of breadfruits on the tree and i have aki there are a lot of open akis so i'm going to have to pick some aki this evening have a lot of open aki on the tree so that's pretty much it for the garden this is one of the grow beds right here that's another grow bed over there and this is where i had my trellis system set up i need some new bamboos for it now so i can set up another trellis system i normally plant like beans and cucumbers and this one so string beans and cucumbers and stuff like that so that's pretty much how the garden is set up now um, once i have it or once i start planting again i'll start posting the videos on the channel so you guys just look out for that it's a little bit windy outside here this evening guys so apologies for the wind and the audio but yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a series of videos i'm gonna try to transform the garden from what it is now all the way back to what i want it to be because as i said before i really really love my garden i really love planting stuff so you guys just stay tuned remember to like subscribe and share and click the notification and if you like this series of the garden go ahead and let me know in the comment section and just look out for the other videos man i'm going to post the videos um tra trying to transform the garden from what it is now back to what i want it to be so big up on yourself again dre with hartman adventures and we're out again